welcome back to my youtube channel this is Simpiwe, this is Ade, my baking partner and today we are making chocolate eclairs with a custard filling and a chocolate topping so don't forget to like and subscribe at the end of the video Warm up your milk and add a teaspoon of vanilla essence. Okay, so now I'm mixing my egg yolks so I can cream them with sugar. These are three egg yolks. Okay, so I'm creaming the egg yolks with sugar. Bit by bit. So just keep adding it gradually. So look at this beautiful consistency guys. This is just egg yellow and sugar. I feel like I could eat it already. <laughs> so next up, cornstarch mixed with flour. Bit by bit, bit by bit. I think I'll probably need a whisk to add this. So remember cornstarch and flour are like thickening agents for the custard. Because the custard for the eclairs cannot be runny, it needs to be thick. Make sure you scoop up all the lumps on the edge because it does dry on the edges. Guys, I swear I'm gonna have my arms are gonna look like Popeye spinach after this. <sighs> okay, so I've added all my cornstarch, and this is how it looks. Trust me, I tried tasting it, doesn't really taste good because these are raw eggs. So and then next up, we're going to be adding milk. Okay, so this is the tough part because I need to add in my milk like bit by bit because I can't cook the eggs. Uh, okay, so there's a little bit. So because your milk is warm, you need to mix as fast as you can because next thing you'll be getting scrambled eggs in your custard and here we are so this is just how it looks don't know why it's so frothy probably because I'm whisking it around so much but now this is going to the pot to cook now we're ready to cook our custard. So this is the important thing. When you put your custard on the stove, you need to bring to boil for at least a minute. Okay, let me pour this. But you need to keep whisking because it, 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 remember it's got flour and it's got cornstarch. So it thickens very quickly. So as it thickens, you just need to keep whisking. Right through till it's done. So see what's happening? The custard is thickening and it smells amazing and it's so thick remember this custard is going to be a filling in a dish so that's why it's so thick it's not just going to be custard that you have with cherry it's going inside our clays okay so this is our custard we're going to put it aside let it cool until our eclairs are ready Every drop counts. Okay, so I'm putting a plastic wrap, but I'm putting it directly on the custard because we don't want it to form that. Um, I don't even know what they call that thick skin on top that forms on like dairy products when you heat them. So yeah, voila, I'm going to leave this. Now I'm preparing the eclairs. Right, so next up it's my 250 ml flour. 
um, I added my pinch of salt in there and four eggs obviously one yolk broke um 250 ml water 125 ml butter so this is melted butter okay so this is what i'm going to use for the pastry so i'm um, whisking my flour onto grease proof paper just so it can be easy for me to add it afterwards Okay, so first pour in my water, my melted butter, alright, and then I'm just going to add a little bit of salt, because I have the, because I've already added the salt in my flour, so just a little bit, and so we're going to bring this to the boil. Pouring all my flour at once, then I'm gonna mix. Okay, so your mixture must not touch the sides, it's now like a big ball, it's not even sticking to the pot. So bit by bit. Okay, so the mixture needs to be smooth. Obviously, it will start falling apart. Also, in this instant, make sure your dough is like warm so it doesn't cook the egg. So see what happens when you put too much egg. It becomes even harder to mix. See guys, it's coming along nicely. Unfortunately, I only have one hand. My photographer has disappeared on me. Still got eggs though, so still not done. Look at how pretty this mixture looks now. Still adding gradually. Trust me guys, I am already tired. So I'm going to be using a silk pad mat because my oven is a bit hot at the bottom and I don't want them to burn underneath. So this prevents it from burning and also sticking, but I'm going to put a little bit of water on it. Okay, so time to pipe the, the clay. So they brown, they're ready. Fortunately, some didn't puff all the way to the top, but so I'm poking these so some steam can escape. I don't know why this one's so flat, but we'll still fill it up anyway. Let's see, ah, beautiful! These are gonna be so tasty, guys. Another one to show you.
Ah, oh, that's just so much easier. And yeah, that's how you do it. So I'm just going to do those, the rest of those. And then I'm going to put my chocolate glaze on top. Okay, so this is 125 grams milk chocolate. Didn't use baking chocolate, too expensive. Teaspoon brown sugar, 30 grams butter, vanilla essence. I'm going to use a drop and 125 ml cream so this is for my chocolate sauce now okay so i'm gonna heat up my cream to be honest i don't know about adding the sugar but i'll just add a little bit because i mean it's milk chocolate Ugh, okay it's just burning. so i just want my sugar to melt and then i'm gonna add my vanilla so i'm bringing my cream to the boil i'm gonna add a drop of vanilla not a drop but nonetheless you know me i don't complain now i remove it from the heat and pour in my chocolate okay i'm gonna have to turn down my stove until it's all mixed up okay so as you see all my chocolate is mixed up i'm gonna leave it standing for two three minutes before i add my butter so okay now we add the butter melting bit by bit as I'm stirring here I'm trying to figure out a way of how I'm gonna pour this glaze over the eclairs because yeah no your girl has been messing up so the whole point of butter is to make um the is to make the chocolate sauce glossy see how shiny it is Ah, there we go. Also, next time, guys, I think just use baking chocolate. Might work better, but we'll see. Okay, now time to glaze our eclairs. 